Do you need a PhD to be a medical writer? I get this question quite a bit and I made this video to answer that question. Now the short answer to that question is no, you do not need a PhD to be a medical writer. However, there is a reason why most medical writing jobs will ask for not just a PhD, but you could have a pharmacy MD, that's a doctor of pharmacy you could have a doctorate in any of the healthcare sciences all right or maybe you have a degree or background in nursing or physical therapy or some other background like that most of the time medical writing jobs tend to ask for these types of backgrounds and the reason is I'm, I'm gonna start from my own experience because my experience is in nursing and then I also have a PhD now the reason why most of the time these companies will ask for either healthcare experience or an advanced degree is because of the training that you get in these educational spheres. So as a registered nurse, for instance, you take courses like anatomy, physiology, you take chemistry, you also do clinical rotations and you tend to come into contact with patients with real conditions, right, in real life. And you will be equipped with the knowledge on how those disease processes work and what you should do as as a healthcare provider. As a PhD in the biomedical sciences, you tend to get training on how to do research, how to find quality papers, how to summarize information that you read from papers, how to take that information and create a story out of that, how to write, teach. So you tend to get these skills quite a bit in a PhD and also even in healthcare, now that I'm thinking about it, I got that quite a bit where we had to relay, you know, information to patients, right? So when you have this sort of practical scientific educational background, you tend to understand things more and this makes it more likely that you will succeed as a medical writer. So most of the time when companies are advertising for medical writers, they will ask that people have either a PhD or a PharmD, sometimes some MDs will get into medical writing, um, a doctorate in another health science or you know, a, somebody who has a healthcare background, that would be a requirement. So then does this make it difficult for people without these degrees to become medical writers? I think in a way, sometimes it does. But if you stick around me long enough, then you know that I have a very much of a can-do attitude where I'm like, it doesn't matter what you have as long as you're able to demonstrate to whoever is interviewing you that you have the requisite skills to fill that role and you're able to show them evidence of those skills right that you can land positions sometimes that typically they would require that you have a phd or you have some kind of extensive background in healthcare or you have a lot of writing experience so what can you do if you're somebody that let's say you don't have a phd you're not thinking of getting one you don't have all these other backgrounds but you want to get into medical writing the best piece of advice I can give you is you will need to do a lot of self-education okay so when you go and you find out what I want you to do for instance right now is go on to indeed go on to LinkedIn and type in medical writer when you type in the medical writer look for the roles that come up what are they asking for right when you look at what they're asking for let's say just look about at, at about 10 different roles and look at what are some of the common themes that you find in there. Don't look at the, you know, the, the qualification section. Just look at the skills that are required, right? I want you to make a list of that and begin to do your research on how you can, number one, learn that skill. And then number two, demonstrate to potential employers that you have these skills. This may require that you do some freelance work, for instance. If you watch a few videos I've done on this channel, I talk about how I was a freelance writer. I was writing marketing content for companies in the healthcare space before I landed my role as a medical writer. So that's something that you may want to look into freelance opportunities to write content. So that's the first thing is self-education, of course. Second thing, 
can look to see if you will find freelance opportunities and even if you don't find freelance opportunities right here's here's the deal these days it's very very easy to start a blog it's very easy to start writing on a place like LinkedIn right you can use LinkedIn's blogging feature or mediums blogging feature right to create pieces of content based on the research that you have done that you can show to potential employers and this is also going to be helpful if you plan on doing freelancing right if you want to be successful at freelancing one of the things you need to do is be able to show up again show people evidence of your skill now when you do this when you've done your research you're looking at the skills that are required you're building those skills you're building a portfolio okay now when you are creating all these pieces what you're doing is really building a portfolio right and one of the tools i would recommend that you use you can use to to keep clips or to keep um you know links to your work is a tool known as contently i'm going to leave my own contently link right on the screen so you can take a look at that and then potentially create your own but apart from the blog that you create apart from maybe writing on linkedin or medium you can create a contently page that curates the different places where you've written and then you can leverage that when you go into interviews you can tell them hey i've written i've done this i've done that now is what i'm describing easy of course not nothing good ever comes easy but if you do this you'll be giving yourself a chance okay to get into a medical writing role an organization you may consider joining is an organization called the american medical writers association there's also the national association of science writers these are all really good organizations that give a lot of good information on the profession of scientific and medical communications and so by either joining these associations or reading the free content that they have out there that will also help you get ahead but yes most of the time people or companies do ask for a phd in order to get a medical writing role but you do not absolutely need one